Join us as we explore the Little Bighorn Battlefield. This is Amanda. And this is Ron. Welcome to Wanderlust. After you enter the park, and they do accept the National Park Pass, there is a pretty large parking lot right next to the Custer National Cemetery. You can enter the visitor center here and you can also start the walking trails. They begin at this area. If you've seen our other videos, you know that I love to get stamps in my stamp book. Uh, if you haven't seen our videos about the passport book, I'll put a link here for you to check it out. The visitor center is really awesome. It's divided into two sections. There's of course the section that has trinkets and things like that for sale, but right now we're in the historical section, which is really kind of small, but it's amazing the amount of information and especially artifacts that they've packed into this area. Trinkets found on the battlefield, things from uh, individuals who are part of the battle from their estate has been brought in. They have set up to give you great examples. They have a couple of really, really cool dioramas. So those are actually um, little models letting you see what the battlefield looked like. A lot of historical native things, a large picture there of what they think the battle looked like. So the Battle of Little Bighorn, also known as Custer's Last Stand, which you see depicted here in another diorama. The natives call this, uh, this greasy grass, but there's a tremendous amount of information that they have here at the battlefield and at the visitor center. The battlefield is really spread out and it hasn't been touched much at all since the battle. You spend most of the tour driving from one stop to the next and from almost anywhere you can see the Little Bighorn River. It's just beautiful, especially when we went, there were wildflowers everywhere, and it was really pretty. So along the battlefield, they have signs that will describe what happened in a particular spot. And there is an audio tour where you dial the phone number and enter the stop you're at, and it'll give you more detail about what happened at that particular place. They used eyewitness accounts to put the grave markers where the men actually fell. They do have different colored markers to differentiate between the cavalry and the tribal members. We had a great time learning more about the history of our country. Even if most of the time the history isn't that pleasant, we still know that it's necessary to know about our past. Thanks for joining us on the journey. We'll see you next week. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And when you subscribe, 
don't forget to click the bell so you make sure and not miss a single video that comes out.